They stand in a good line. Flag goes up and they're often racing from that 1600 meter marker. We'll give them a chance to settle down. Not too many want to be up on speed. That doesn't apply to Grandiosa, who wants to go off and lead the field. Lorena's right up there. Round runners is Mothership, who also shows a bit of toe. And Call Me Getrix wants to be in the firing line. And now presses forward, but still races three deep for the moment. In behind them is Lilmus Pink, who secures a gun run against the rail with Richard Faree. And only three lanes saw them. Porto Zante is doing it three deep onto the turn. Further back is Lorena. Then we drop back to Sinora Victoria Prince. Says Izzy has got the pink sleeves and the pink cap. Then comes Rainbow Lorikeet, who found itself about eight lengths off the leader. Enchanting choices behind that one. And further back at the back end is Among the Clouds and about ten lengths off the leader. I would say the speed's been okay. It's Porto Zante who's now gone off to lead them. Mothership is racing away in second. Call Me Getrix is in third. Then comes Lorena in fourth. Shares that position with Grandiosa. Sinora Victoria. Little Miss Pink just gets a shake of the race. Rainbow Lorikeet, Princess Easy to the middle of the track is among the clouds and at the back end is Enchanting Choice and about eight lengths off the leader. So some of them have stuck to that inside rail. There's just two horses to the middle outside. It's Porto Zante who's hard up on the inside. Princess Easy, Call Me Getrix on the outside is among the clouds, Enchanting Choice. they all taking off and it's among the clouds who's come from last and now popped its nose in front. Call Me Getrix, Rainbow Lorikeet, Princess is easy. Rainbow Lorikeet got to the lead at exactly the right time and wins. Princess Easy second. Call me Getrix was back in third. That must have been right up with the leaders up the lane. As I always say, this angle can be tricky at the best of times, but certainly made some good inroads. Uh, did the grey among the clouds and then just faded out tamely that last 150 metres. And that left the door open for Rainbow Laura Keat. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson, to Mornay Vinar, to the Yuppie Syndicate. Well done to Mr. ZM Block. This one bred by the Volkerbos Drift and Maritz Fontaine Stud Farm. Now two-time winner from eight starts. There's some lovely footage coming through. Rainbow Laura Keat eventually getting the better of the field. Pick six starts in race number three. Your bets need to be on at 13.35. So Rainbow Laura Keats is now a two-time winner from eight starts, and she loves the style that she does, and she's done that again today under Mornay Vinar for Candice Bass Robinson and the Yuppie Syndicate, so you can expect a lot of excitement from Zach and friends. Here's Mornay. Mornay, you've stuck with her for most of her career. How much progress is she making? Yeah, I think every time she races, she gets stronger. I mean, today, i got to give credit to, you know, even when my way today, i got to split at the right time. She finished the race later on, so good win. Does she need that type of ride and switch her off and let her run on? Yeah, we've learned things about her, you know, I mean, earlier in the career I had her up handy, which didn't work, she just stayed on. But we changed tactics and, it, and it's worked out today. MJ and I were just saying off air, back her next time over 1,800 metres in 2,000. Is she ultimately looking for that trip? Definitely, she'll be much better over 2,000 as well, so yeah, good win today. Well done, Mona. Thank you. Let's go to Vicky in front. I think this will be an interview that you'd like to see. Thank you very much, Alistair, number nine, Rainbow Lorikeet. Good uh, bit of feedback from Monet there, and uh, Candice, well done to you. Thank you very much, Vicky. Obviously, came in with a good hand of, of Phillies, but um, I think with regards to her, like you said, she had to sort of wait and, and bob and even be a bit more patient, but she seemed to enjoy that. Yeah, she's improving all the time because she's strengthening them up, you know, month by month. Um, she's got a lovely pedigree, and uh, she's obviously going to get a bit of ground too, so I think she's a lovely filly for these guys to own, especially most of them having their first horse. I think she's ultra. she's been an ultra-consistent filly, and, uh, you know, obviously there was a turnaround at the weights with the other filly today, and... Um, yeah, I thought Mornay rode a superb race, and I think she likes to be ridden like that, and it suited out, it suited, well, the race turned out um, perfectly for him. Found some nice gaps along the way, and uh, I think she won a good race. Well done. Thank you, Vicky. Just well done to all the partners. We've got a handful here today. Obviously, to Zach, this is his send-off today. He's the one who put this whole syndicate together, so I'm sure um, probably bittersweet um, emotions for him today. So very well done to him, and um, obviously we'll miss him, and I'm sure you'll have a good time studying over there, and I'm sure he's going to come back a lot more, a lot more clever, Zach. <laughs> Well done to Candice. And then speaking about uh, the bittersweet moment, come and have a chat to us. This filly is beautiful and uh, nice. I see you you gathering everyone a little bit more. The group gets bigger every time. Yeah, I'm not going to talk long today. This is quite an emotional win for me. 
very bittersweet. Racing is a huge part of my life, and I'm going to miss it a lot. Um, but yeah, just a great send off. Thanks, uh, Candice and Mornay for making it happen. And um, yeah, couldn't have asked for much more. But yeah, let Cam chat a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you here, and obviously with a, a bunch of mates racing. Yes, of course, Vicky. No, it was wonderful to see her come through the field. Uh, big thanks to Mornay for a great ride and to the Bass team for all their work that they do. Um, yeah, lovely to have a win on the day that Zach uh, heads overseas. We're going to miss you lots, brother. Um, but I know you'll be shouting very, very loud from the UK. And we'll always be here. Don't worry. Racing's not going in week. Hollywood Benz can always stay, but well done for the win. No, absolutely. Thanks so much, Vicky. And then this is your second winner, first horse, second winner. Things are going well for you. Unbelievable, hey. I mean, she's always been a beautiful horse, and I mean, she really brings it to the racetrack, so can't ask for much more. Last time we spoke, you were completely like involved in the emotion of it all. You seem like you're becoming an expert at this. Yeah, if anyone needs tips, uh, you can find me here. <laughs> well then, for the win. Thank you, hey. Thank you, and then uh, we've got the rest of you all involved too, but it was a lovely lead-in. Congratulations. It uh, was the Yuffie Syndicate, so a lovely send of for Zach. Like I said, uh, we'll always be here, so uh, more winners to celebrate, and I'm sure he'll be tuning in to watch Roma Laurie keep going forward with her career. Well then to Volker Bors, Drift and Ritzfontein for, for breeding, and good ride from uh, very athletic one ever now. Ladies and gentlemen, our Hollywood Bets winning groom for race number two is this handsome young man here next to me, Mr. Simpiwe. Mr. Simpiwe, a massive, massive congratulations. Rainbow lorikeets, just a smash of a finish. Tell me, your little rainbow one, um, how do you feel? Uh, I feel happy. I feel happy very much. Of course, I mean, you feel happy. Obviously, you've got a little rainbow, rainbow lot of kids. I mean, it's not so little. The horsepower on that horse was, I mean, immense. We, as we just saw, you made a smashing finish. Thank you so much. A major congratulations to you as well as Bass Robinson Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, the heat here at Hollywood Dits Kenilworth is so much, but I can assure you, the horse racing is even hotter. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to Atlas for the replay.